Hey everyone, so here is a question from rational numbers and the question here is Insert 5 rational numbers between 5 by 6 and 7 by 8 So whenever such kind of questions are given They may ask you to find out 10 rational numbers or 3 rational numbers The first thing you are going to do is look for the denominators If denominators are same then you, have, you don't have to take LCM and make it same So one step will be over If denominators are not same Like in this question we have denominator 6 and 8 you gonna do is we have to make it same but how to make it same we're going to take lcm of 6 and 6 and 8 so let's find the lcm first so here is a solution so lcm of 6 and 8 will be equal to 24 okay now i'll gonna change the denominator for both the numbers the first number given to us is 5 by 6 so 5 by 6 so I want here denominator 24. So we're going to find out equivalent uh, equivalent fraction of 5 by 6 with denominator 24. So with 6, what I have to multiply to get 24, it will be 4, right? So multiply 4 in the numerator and denominator. We'll get 20 by 24. Then we have second number 7 by 8. Again, here also I'm going to find the equivalent fraction of 7 by 8 with denominator 24. So with 8, what I have to multiply? I have to multiply 3 so multiply 3 in the numerator so we'll get 21 upon 24 good so we got here 24 in the denominator but look at the numerator we have 20 and 21 so between 20 and 21 we don't have a much gap right we don't have a numbers to write down here so what to do in such case so this method you can apply for any other question also so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find out one more equivalent fraction of this number 20 by 24 and 21 by 24 and so that and why I'm doing so that the gap between these two number will increase and I'm going to I can get easily the rational numbers between them okay so with which number you should multiply then so we have to find the equivalent fraction okay so what number to be multiplied so it's very simple look at the question in the question they are asking to find out 5 rational numbers so you should not take a number 5 or less than that if you take 5 or less than that you will not get sufficient gap and you will not find out how many rational numbers they are asking in the question so you have to take more than 5 so you can take 6 or more than 6 any number you can take okay now let's find out so I'm gonna show you by taking with 6 if I take 6, I'm going to get exactly 5 rational numbers. So we're going to multiply here. So first 20 by 24. I'm going to multiply with 6. So this will be 120 upon 144. The next number we have here is 21 so 21 by 24 remember you have to multiply both the number with 6 okay you cannot change you cannot take 6 for one number and 7 for one another number otherwise denominators will again change so multiply 6 again here in the numerator and denominator will get 126 upon 144 now look at the number we have 120 and 126 in the numerator and between them we have exactly 5 numbers 121, 122, 123, 124 and 125 so uh, I'll just gonna conclude here the answer therefore 5 rational numbers so 5 rational numbers between 5 by 6 and 7 by 8 are you can start here with 1 don't take 120 upon 144 you should take between them so it's 121 upon 144 and then 122 upon 144 123 upon 144 and 124 upon 144 and the last one is 125 upon 144 so that's it this is the answer here now you may think that we have multiplied with 6 we got this what happens if you multiply with some other number you will get some other answer so it's not necessary that you all like everyone should get the same answer I may get one answer you may get different answer depending upon with what number you're multiplying 
and one more point there are infinite many infinitely many rational numbers between a two rational numbers so it's not necessary that your answer should match with textbook answer or some with some other answer only thing is the method should same and that's it so you can apply this technique for any other numbers where if the question is asked in this way so that's it i hope it's clear in case you have any question or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching